Let's be real, Homelander is one of the most relatable characters in fiction. Up there with Walt the White, Omni-Man, Thanos, Lalo Salamanca, and Saul Goodman in terms of relatability. So let's count down our Relatable King's most relatable moments. Starting off with number one, it's being addicted to milk. Honestly, literally me after I heard that milk helps you grow. But it turns out Google's a fucking liar that you can't actually grow at all because drinking milk is fucking, fucking bullshit. I can't believe they fucking did that to me. Fuck you. Number two, falling for an evil MILF. Come on, it speaks for yourself. Number three, beefing with babies. Especially when they're taking all the attention from that MILF. Like, how dare they cry to their moms for when they're hungry or when they're sad. These babies are cock blocking me, man. And I don't like it one bit. Like Michael Jordan said, fuck them kids. Oh come on guys, not literally. Moving on to number four, it's lasting 15 seconds with that MILF. Honestly, Homelander lasted a marathon if you ask me. Good job Homelander. Moving on to number five, it's having daddy issues. Just wow, if Jensen Ackles tells me that I'm a disappointment and a fucking pussy, I don't know how to come back from that. Moving on to number six, it's imagining destroying the entire world over the mildest inconvenience. This one really hits the core for me, honestly. Like, how dare Chipotle give me such small portions in my really expensive meal? Moving on to number seven, it's being playfully reckless. Like, whoops, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to be silly and kill an innocent bystander and give his entire family an eternity of trauma. I was being silly, man. It's all, you know, my bad. I, what, what, what was I supposed to do? Honestly, Homelander was just having a silly moment in his day. That's all. It's just nothing, nothing malice coming out of it at all whatsoever. Number eight outwardly manipulating everyone that you see obviously guys if lighting people on fire isn't an option to get what you want and deserve you can get another light it's called gaslight totally ethical and justified but the whole night are guaranteed moving on to number nine it's looking at a good picture of myself just admiring the perfection of me really like look at me look at the gorgeousness that was me just that's the self-love we're trying to strive for now, baby! Obviously, border on narcissism at that point. You know what? Screw narcissism. Just go all the way. Just embrace the narcissism. It's not wrong. If Homelander thinks it's right, it's right. And obviously, number 10, it's being really lazy. Like, honestly, I think we're all lazy at some points in our lives. And personally, this really hits the core for me because I'm pretty lazy too. And Homelander's really lazy sometimes, especially when he's a superhero. He was so lazy, in fact, that he let an entire airplane of people die just because he didn't want to exert any effort to save anyone because that would have cost him too much energy. In fact, he even made more of an effort to make excuses and think of a terrible PR speech than actually helping them. Can you imagine? Being a superhero as your job to save people, but you don't save them because you're lazy? Come on, that's just so fun. It's so relatable. That's how I am at work too. That's, that's how it is. That's how we all are. Homelander is such a silly fella. He's so relatable. An honorable mention for Homelander's relatable moments is how he reacted to Stormfront saying white genocide to his son Ryan. Seriously, even seeing Homelander react this way surprised me. If Homelander thinks you're crazy, then something's up with you. Overall, Homelander truly is a golden retriever of a person and such a relatable guy. Honestly, we should totally strive to be our boy Homelander.